are many things that I could speak on today. I've been studying the Bible and a part of the work of the Lord for over 60 years. I was a very studious individual at that time. I've read uh, proponents of books until I found out that there's only one book that really counts. Yes, and it's called the Bible. Yes. And then to feel this good spirit that we felt today. Praise God. Wonderful one. And uh, then to, to know these songs that we were singing. Yes. And everything that I have, I owe to him. Oh, yes. yes. And uh, you realize the importance of yourself when you read the scriptures that my righteousness adds nothing to him. Amen. Amen. I believe it's in Job where it makes these statements. All of my righteousness adds nothing to God. And if I step aside and I backslide, fall away from God, it takes nothing away from me. In other words, I add nothing or take nothing from God. He adds and takes from me. Oh, yes. And uh, then I also realize there are so many gifts from God that the Bible talks about. Yes. There's the gift of the Holy Ghost, which is so very important. Oh, yes. Amen. There's the gift of righteousness and justification that I have with him. Oh, yes. Got There's it. the gift of salvation. Uh, we're not going to make heaven by our works. That's right. Amen. And God be in debt to us. <laughs> We're going to make heaven because of the grace of the Almighty yes, God. Amen. 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 But the greatest gift that God can give us <coughs> is the revelation oh, yes. of where He is uh-huh. and that I'm His child. Oh, praise God. Glory, Amen. glory, glory. When God makes the revelation to my heart, then I am his, then there's nothing this world can do, there's nothing the devil can do, and there's nothing the flesh can do that can cause me to give him up. That's right, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The thing that held Peter in that first century church, through the time they went through two traumatic experiences, number one with the betrayal of uh, Judas, and number two was the arrest, the death of what who they assumed was a Messiah called Jesus Christ. Yes, he met. Amen. He met. And the only thing that really kept holding them was a revelation that he had that he was the Son of the Almighty God. Oh yes, yes he that's true. He that's true. And see, well, if you're still here today, uh-huh. see, I, I keep hearing these statements, why did these people leave? Well, they got hurt. Uh-huh. I don't know about you, but I've been hurt oh, yes. many times. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've been drugged through the mud uh-huh. many times. But I stand here today, oh, not because I'm better than them, uh-huh. but I only stand here by the grace of the Almighty oh, yes. God. Amen. Yes. Amen. But Judas heard the same words that Peter, James, and John heard. Uh-huh. He saw the same miracles that Peter, James, and John saw. Oh, yes. But what held them that Judas did not have? Come on. That was a, a revelation of who, who Jesus Christ oh, yes. Amen. really was. When you have that revelation, oh, yes. You can stand through any affliction oh, yes. that the devil and the world yeah, yeah, yeah. and your flesh can throw at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without that revelation, the smallest wind will blow you off. Yeah, yeah, I would like to show today that I am a child of God. Yes. And you are a child of God. Yes. 
And if God is my God, he's God in every situation. Yes, yes he is. Amen. 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 You used to have a brother in Des Moines, James Mercer, used to make this statement, Sister Annette will remember it probably. He used to always say, you keep saying you're under the circumstances, you're a child of God. What are you doing under the circumstances? <laughs> you're supposed to be over the circumstances. Yes. 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 Amen. And uh, J.R. Miller, an old uh, a preacher, writer, and philosopher, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, he made this statement in one of the books that he wrote. He said, your afflictions and your experiences and your trials should never minister to you. Uh, like you should minister to them. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And your feelings uh -huh. are not meant to give orders. Your feelings are made to take orders. Because <coughs> if you let your feelings give you orders, you're going to miss God many times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would like to take just a few moments today to show you uh -huh. that your God is always your God, uh -huh. and I don't care where you're at. Hallelujah. I do not care what you're going Hallelujah. through. You can't use your afflictions as an excuse nope. Not to grow in God. That's right. Amen. Because the scripture I'm going to give you will condemn you. Oh, yes. Amen. Right. You cannot use the troubles and problems you're going through uh -huh. to back up or give up on God because there's individuals who's going through more than we have uh -huh. that never gave up on God. In fact, they grew in God all the time. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. I'm going to start in Psalm 61. And I'm breaking in a new Bible. I wore out two of them. I got both of them still in my desk at home. This one here was a book, the Bible that was written. It was printed 50 years ago. But they found them in, a, in Salt Lake City, Utah, in an old distributor of the Cambridge Bible. All brand new. It's got it from almost a song. And it's really good. But all Bibles are good. Oh, yeah. Hear my cry, O God, and attend unto my prayer. No matter what you go through, there's always prayer. Oh, yes, amen. I'm going to show, I don't know if it's today, it's in this message. But God, when David was really in his deepest affliction, I believe it's in the 22nd chapter of 2 Samuel, you may have that wrong. But in his distress, he didn't go to a group of men. He didn't go to a fellowship meeting. He dropped down on his knees and went to God. Glory, yes. glory. And when he cried out to God, in his earnest prayer, God moved heaven and he moved earth for it. Yes, he did. did. And I believe if God can do that for David, he can do it for me. Amen. 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 From the end of the, of the earth will I cry out today, no matter where I am, when my heart is overwhelmed, we live in a world Today, brothers, it will overwhelm you. Yes, it will. We live in a technological world that is absolutely destroying the youth of our nation. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. And many things will overwhelm us. The economic condition. We've got an administration in the White House completely lost in the wilderness. We've got a Congress can't get anything done. What are we to do? We're overwhelmed with the problems. Let me tell you something. Today, I've got a rock to stand on. I've got a rock to lean on. And when I'm overwhelmed with all of my personal problems and my troubles, lead me to that rock. Let me get to that rock that is higher than I. Hallelujah. 
For thou hast been a shelter for me. Yes. He sheltered you in the past. He'll shelter you today. Yes. And a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the culverts of your wings. Here it is. The culverts of his wings. I'd like to go to Jonah next. Thank you, Lord. I just go where I feel like the Holy Ghost will lead me here. There's many lessons in the book of Jonah. You may always wonder why this little book or that little book is in the Bible. I have showed you in the back of how important that book is. Jonah is just as important as it's important. In Jonah, you'll find out that there are some ungodly people that have more confidence in God than our present day Christians do. Amen. Oh, yes, amen. Amen. When they were in the storm tossed sea, they woke up Paul, or they woke up Jonah and said, Jonah, ask your God what's going on. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. John God, and Christian don't even know enough to do that sometimes today. Come on, brother. Mm -hmm. And when Jonah told them, throw me overboard, I'm in trouble, they wouldn't do it. They did their best to still go ahead and save the ship. So you don't get anywhere backing up, stopping, quitting, giving up, and throwing in the towel. No, amen. You don't, amen. Get, you don't get anywhere in the world. Right. You don't get anywhere in the church. That's right. Amen. These men, these ungodly sailors, would not give up the ship. And I think we as a church All right. ought to stand together. I don't care what the world throws at us. Going to give up the ship. All right, amen. Amen. When they finally found out they could not make any headway, therefore they cried unto the Lord. Yes. These ungodly sailors cried out to God. Yes. And said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life, but we don't really want to throw him overboard. And don't lay this innocent blood on us. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, Lord has done as it pleased thee. Ungodly sailors uh -huh. realizing that God was going to have his way. Lord, yeah, do you think Lord. we as children of God ought to realize in the end yep. God's going to have his way? Oh, yes. 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 He'll bring me out of it. Amen. Jonah said here in the at, go, let's go to the second chapter. Jonah prayed unto the, unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, and he cried by reason of my affliction on the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I. Oh, yeah. It don't matter where you are. Amen. It, it don't matter how far down you are. No. Amen. It doesn't matter if the tempest and everything is overshadowing you and got you covered, you still cry out to God. Yes. Yes. There's never any reason Come on, to be so far down yes. that you can't reach out That's and get a hold of God. Oh, Lord. Yes. And he said, Thou heardest my voice. I don't care where you are. Come on. I don't care how far down you are. Come on. If you take the time and cry out to God, Come on. I guarantee you, he'll hear your voice. If he hears the voice of the ungodly yes. sailors, he's going to hear the prayer of that saint of God that's walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. He cast me into the deep, in the midst of the sea, the floods could pass me about, all thy billows. <laughs> And that waves passed me over. Then I said, I may be cast out of God's sight. 
get what I want. He may not be able to see me. And I may be here in the depths of hell. Uh -huh. But he said, man, it doesn't matter. No. I am still not going to give up. No. Yes, and I'm still going to look toward Amen. the house of God. Amen. 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 Praise our God. There's no reason to ever quit. Come on. Never any reason to throw in the towel. Amen. If you're hanging on by a thread, Amen. we can do it. Amen. God can get a hold of you Amen. and make up for anything that's missing. God can get a hold of you. Amen. All you got to do is believe. I went down to the bottom of the mountains. Come on, brother The earth with her bars were about me forever. 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 I don't see any way up. Yet hast thou bought up my life from corruption, O oh Lord my God. My God. When my soul fainted within me. Listen yes. to it. Oh yes. What did he do? I remember the Lord. He didn't give up, did he? No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, Obamacare will save me. Yeah. All this other stuff will save me. <laughs> no, I won't. No. No. We as a nation are sinking. Yes, amen. We as a world are sinking. Amen. My Lord. Hallelujah. Look at the Middle East, there's no answer. Everything. Amen. I don't blame our administration on that because. That's been going on since time began. Yes, yes you let But when my soul painted within me, my God. I remembered I remembered the Lord. Him. Lord. Hey, Lord, old friend, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing else to do. And when you're at your last thread, uh -huh. come on now. Yep. When you're at your last wit's end. Oh yes. Come on now. Remember him. Lord, Amen. 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 Remember the Lord. Remember the Lord. And I, by prayer, came unto thee, <coughs> into thy holy temple. Yes, God. They that deserve bring lying vanities, they forsake their own mercies. Do you know that you can forsake your own mercy? Oh, yes. Amen. God can give you mercy and you'll forsake it because you don't believe in Him. Amen. You'll forsake your own mercy that God will give you because you won't trust in Him. Amen. You're vain. Somehow you think you're going to find your way out of it. Hallelujah. You're preaching. Praise the Lord. But I will sacrifice unto thee. Here I am. I'm in the belly of the hell. I'm in the depths of trouble. Uh -huh. yeah. My soul is overwhelmed. Make the picture. Oh, yeah. What am I going to do? I'm going to raise my hand and oh, praise God. Oh, I'm going to raise my hand and praise God. Yeah.
him. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. You know what God did? Amen. He touched that old fish. Yeah. And that fish opened up his mouth yeah. and spit Jonah out. Amen. Oh, yes. wow. yeah. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. He'll do the same for you. God has not lost anything. Hallelujah. God is still God. See, God was still Jonah's God in the belly of the well. Just as he was Jonah's God on the dry land. Yes. Let's take a look at the first chapter of Exodus. I'm not near done. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Glory. You can surprise at the lessons that are in this book. Amen. Yes. Here's the children of Israel. You may say, oh, the problems that are in this church. <laughs> oh, the troubles that are in this church. Whine and cry about them all you want to. But remember something. Let's start with the sixth verse of the first chapter of Exodus. Let me show you something about Israel. There was a reason why Israel was Israel. Oh, yeah. And there's a lesson that we, as the Israel of the day, can learn from them. Oh, yes. Yes. It said here, Joseph died, and all his brethren and all that generation went off to sea. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mightily, and the land was filled with them. Yes. And the new king said, I'll take care of that. Yeah. And the devil sitting back there today saying, that church is growing. I'll yeah. take care of that. I'll take care of He's that. He's a liar. <laughs> yeah. He's a liar. Yeah. And there rose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. They're going to multiply and pass us. <laughs> then when war comes, they're going to side with the enemy and overthrow us. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramses, and Israel went down. No. The same God that was with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Joseph was with the children of Israel then. Even their hard taskmasters. And the more they afflicted them, come on, devil. Oh, yeah. We don't care what come you on, do. Right. Yeah. Come on, world against us. We don't care what you do. Come on. The same God that blessed me yesterday. Oh, yeah. That blessed yeah. me today. Right. Yeah. 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 there to bless me. Yes. Come on. Right. Yeah. 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 Throw it at me. Yeah. Give me the best shot you've got. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm not going to say that. That's boasting. Let me tell you something. As long as I got God standing by my side, I'm going to boast to the high. Yeah. 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 There's a song that the Camry came to sing called uh, one of the lines, and it was something like this I'm not going to run to God. Telling how big my mountains are. Uh -huh. I'm going to run to my mountains and tell them how big my God is. Yes. Right. And that's the attitude the Son of God oh, has to have. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to go to God and tell them how big my afflictions are. <laughs> I'm going to go to my afflictions and tell them and remind them how big my God is. Yes. All right. Yes. Great job. Amen. So even though these taskmasters oh. were put over, the turn of Israel and afflict them. Uh -huh. And the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. Amen. And they grew. Amen. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Oh, yeah. My God. And 14th verse, they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, uh -huh. service, former brick, uh -huh. 
king of Egypt said to the midwives, now when they bring forth the child, you kill the boys, you save the girls. And that's our, been our problem in the church. Come on, come on. We've listened to the devil. Yeah. Come on, Amen. Uh -huh. We've listened to the flesh. Amen. Come on. Midnight, midwife said, Fui unto you, king. We're not doing it. That's what they said. And I think we as a church ought to tell the devil, Fui on you, devil. <laughs> We're just not done. Yeah. You're not going to shut my mouth. Amen. You're not going to put my hands down. No. You're not going to keep me from praising right, God. You You're not going to keep me from reading my Bible. No, sir. No, sir. You're not going to put me on Facebook all day long. Amen. You're not going to put me on internet, social internet all day long. Amen. The electronics of this world are not going to take me over. Amen. I still have my informational highway oh, yeah. right here. Yeah. My informational highway is not on a TV screen. My informational highway is not on some computer screen. Right. My informational highway is between these two covers right, right here. Right. And I put my head in my hand hand hand. And I get the word of God and put that in my heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Otherwise, I would not stand here and try to talk to this assembly. Uh -huh. Amen. So they, they, they didn't do that. And the king got upset with the midwives. Yes. But God dwelt well with the midwives. You see, it doesn't matter what the king says. It doesn't matter what the governor says. It matters what God says. Amen. You remember the story of, who was it? Was it Joseph? In the 105th chapter of Psalms, they put him in iron, fettered him. His wrists were sore, feet sore. And the king had him bound in prison, didn't he? Yes, he did. Until the word of the Lord came. Oh, yes, he met. He listened to me. The king didn't know he was obeying God when he turned Joseph loose well, he what he was. Uh -huh. He didn't know he was obeying God when he put him over his household, nope. but he was. Yes, he was. Amen. And when God sends the word on you, oh, yes. kings must bow to that word. Yes, yes, the yes. president of the United States must bow yes, to that yes. word. Right. The Congress must bow to yes. that word. Yes. The governors yes. must bow to that word yes. because there's nothing hard than the word of the oh, Almighty right. God. Right. Oh, right. God. Yes. Not a thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. And the people multiplied and waxed very mightily. And it came to pass because the midwives feared God. God turned around and saw they had houses to live in. Oh. Praise God. I'm going to show you another example. You just never give up. You give the devil. See, the devil doesn't know everything about you. God does. The devil does not. The devil said, you take everything away from Job, he'll curse it to your face. Yes. He didn't know the resolve Job had. And so the devil afflicted him. And the woman, the woman with his wife said, Why don't you curse God and die? He said, Well, you're a foolish woman. Yes. We receive good from God. God giveth. Blessed be the Lord. God taketh away. And the devil, he don't give up too quick, is he? No, either. Remember that, dear saints of God. I'll beat the devil today. Well, remember, he going to be back tomorrow. Yes, he'll be back. Hey, <laughs> show again, the devil says. Yeah, I'm considered Job, but skin for a skin, a man will give everything for a skin. Yeah. Uh -huh. And finally, God said, well, okay, you go. 
and you can touch him, but don't take his life. <laughs> The devil thought for sure he had Job, didn't he? Yeah. Remember something, the devil may think he has you. Why don't we fool him? All right, the friend. devil thinks he has you. Uh, He'll put on this affliction and that affliction, uh, and he thinks that he has you. I think we ought to prove the devil wrong and yeah. yeah. God right yeah. and keep on serving yeah. God yeah. through every circumstance oh, yeah. because I know when he has tried me, oh, yeah. he's going to break me poor. Yeah. God can make you a lump of gold. Yeah. 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 Which would you rather be? Amen. Here in the 26th chapter of Genesis. There's always so much in the Word of God you can't get through a message in one service. Here in the 26th chapter of Isaac. And he had pulled Abimelech. He was staying in Abimelech's land. But Isaac outgrew Abimelech. And Abimelech said, please go. And Isaac, 17th verse, 26th chapter of Genesis, Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Zerar and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he called their names at which he named by which his father had called him. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley, and they found a well of spring water. The herdsman's Gira said, did strive with Isaac Trimmer saying, This water is ours. And there are people uh -huh. who think this fellowship is theirs. All right, come, come on, on, brother, come on. And if you don't belong to them, come on. you're nothing. Come on, brother, come on, brother. Mm -hmm. The water's ours, he called the name of the well Isaac, because they strove with him at his contention. Uh -huh. Isaac did not give up. No, nope. he did not. Nope. Don't ever give, give up. up. No, man. He moved on. They digged another well and strove for that also. Yes. And he called the name of it Sitna, that is hatred. They've dug two wells. They've lost both of them. But they did not give up. They did not give up. There's no room for a child of God to give up. Amen. If you want victory, you got to keep digging. If you want victory, you have to keep walking. If you want victory, you have to keep singing. If you want victory, you have to keep praising. If you want victory, you can't back up. In World War II, we backed all the way up to Australia. Amen. Yes, we lost all the islands of the Pacific. Yes. But we did not give up. Amen. The Marines began to move back up. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And pretty soon they took Guam, Wake, and, yes. and all those islands of Iwo Jima. One by one we fought back. Amen. And we actually won the war. Amen. I've had people tell me we can't serve, we can't uh, fight two wars at once and win. We yeah. fought three wars at once in World War II and won. Yes, we did. We defeated the Germanies. We defeated Italy. We defeated Japan. Yes. That's when God was with this nation. Amen. And when God's with a nation, I don't care how many wars you fight, you're going to win. Them. But if God's not with a nation, you can't fight one and win it. Right. Amen. Amen. As long as God's with us, Amen. I think we ought to continue fighting Amen. against everything Amen. that would try to defeat the church. Yes. If we dig a well and it's oh, taken yeah. from us, oh, right. let's dig another well. Oh, right. Let's go dig another oh, well. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. And he moved tents and digged another well. And for that, finally, 
You keep fighting, and uh -huh. your enemy will give up. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. You want to get victory against the devil, Amen. just keep fighting. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> You're going to finally give up. Uh -huh. Amen. And he called the name of it Ribbles. And he said, For now the Lord, I get this, Isaac and his herdmen were doing the digging. It was the Lord that was doing the blessing. Hey, yes, man. All right. I like that. My dear saint of God, I like that. You just keep a digging and a fighting. And oh God, just keep on a blessing and a blessing. Oh, glory, glory. Amen. You just keep on driving the enemy back. Uh, remember, God's. I don't remember if you don't know, remember the Six Day War of 1967. Yeah. And uh, there's a book I put out my life magazine <coughs> about that war. You know, tell me about this one battle in the God the Desert. And this big, these Egyptians were down, down here. Uh, and over the top came this big army of Israelis. I mean, huge army. <coughs> and of course, that Egyptian down there in the, in the valley just threw up their weapons and gave up. You know what showed up from the mountaintop? A handful of Israelis. <laughs> and the Egyptian ca uh, captain there said, where's the rest of the army? He said, this is it. Uh -huh. You know what those Egyptians saw? Something I like to see. All right. They saw the armies oh, yeah. of heaven Praise on God. that mountaintop. Yeah. God's army oh, yeah. was there for Elijah. Yeah. God's yeah. army was yeah. there for Israel. The yeah. Yeah. God's yeah. army is still there for us tonight. For now the Lord has made room for us. See, that's the spirit the children of God need to have. Oh, yes. Isaac done the digging, but he realized it was God that done the blessing. It was God that made the room for them. And when God makes room for them, I don't care what the DVDs say. All right. I don't care. I don't care what the Bible my former church says about me. <laughs> I don't care what that fellowship says about me. That's it. If God makes room if for me, there's yeah. nothing they can do about it. Not a thing. Yeah. I've got the victory over Come there. on, brother. Yeah. Let them talk. You're right. Right. Let the heathen rage. Yeah. Let, the, let the people imagine the same thing. He's still going to set his king in oh, the right. holy hill. And we shall be fruitful in the land. Let me tell you all out there, here and on the internet, talk about us all you want to. Fight with us all you want to. If God has made room for us, and he has, he'll make us fruitful. He'll multiply us. We won't have to do it. We just got to take the way. We just got to keep the battle up. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. In Acts, yeah. I just don't feel like stopping. Because that God did not just yeah. move in yeah. the Old Testament. Praise. He moved in the New Testament. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Peter, James has been killed, and Peter's in jail, uh -huh. bound with 16 Roman soldiers, uh -huh. two of them laying with him in the bed, one on his side, chained to Peter. Uh -huh. He's two wards in, 
Uh, plus the big main gate. Yes. And he went to sleep. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not going to read anything. I'm just going to tell you how it happened. Yeah, he did. All of a sudden, I don't care how dark it is. I don't care where you're at. That's true, brother. When an angel of the Lord shows up, it'll get lights. Thank you, Lord. And the angel showed up, and the chains fell off. Yeah. Had to wake Peter up and said, "Get your shoes, your robe on. We're leaving." Amen. They walked toward the gate to the first ward. They swing open. Yeah. They walk toward the gate of the other ward. They swing open. Oh yeah. He walks to the big gate that separates the prison from the city. Amen. You know what? Yeah. It's spring open. Oh yeah. Peter don't know that this is happening. He thinks he's having a vision. Yeah. <laughs> you ever dream? Yeah. When you woke up, it was so real. Yeah, man. Thought the dream was still going. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. But it was not a dream. Yeah. And when he got out into the street of the city, he yeah. realized what God had done for him. Yeah. 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 He realized the same God that delivered Abraham, Isaac, and oh, Jacob. Yeah. And all the old patriarchs oh, yes. was still working. Oh, I'm here to tell you something. Yeah. The Bible is still being written, yeah. oh, yeah. and we're a part of it. Yeah. We're yeah. still working. Yeah. 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 God is still working. Yeah. 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 for you to give up. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Oh, Praise the Lord. Oh, Praise the Lord. Man. Hallelujah. Lord. I know here in Acts the 16th chapter. Yeah. I do know you're going to face <laughs> your midnight hour. Oh yeah. Everybody has a midnight hour. Oh, yes, sir, brother. Yes. Probably have more than one of them. Oh, yes. But what do you do at your midnight hour? The God who was with me at noontime when the sun was shining bright, is that God still with me at midnight? Yes. And the answer is, of course, uh -huh. yes. I'm a child of God. Oh, yeah. And God is always with me. His thoughts are always upon me, David said in the 139th Psalm. If I could even add them up, I couldn't get the figure. That's right, he may have. He may have. And in the morning when I awake, you know something? Uh -huh. He's still thinking. Oh, yes. uh -huh. No matter where I am, David, what did he oh, yes. say? Uh, he said, no matter where I go, I can fly clear to the depths of the ocean. Oh, and yes. you know what? <coughs> I find him there. Uh -huh. And Paul and Silas, yeah. at their midnight hour, yeah. and when all they had a song, a prayer, and a praise. Praise, oh, praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 I heard a preacher in, where was it, down in Miami. Uh, yes, it was. <coughs> he, just, he just left out the praise part. <laughs> Paul and Silas, the only weapon they had against what the devil had done to them. Locked in that inner, but remember something. God was still their God. Oh, yes. As they lay, sit there stripped oh, yes. of their clothing, uh -huh. their feet in stocks, oh, their yes. back beaten. God was still their God <laughs> as He was their God when they were out preaching oh, yes. in the people to the people. Oh, yes. Amen. God is God. Oh yes. Amen. 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 He always will be God. Amen. And the devil has to tremble yes. when he thinks about it. Yes. Amen. 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 And here they were. They didn't have a sword. 
They didn't have anything to defend themselves with or stick the offense with. I'm going to tell you something they did have. Oh, praise God. You as a child of God should have them today. Oh, yeah. They had a prayer. Do you have a prayer? Amen. They had a song. Yes. You have your midnight song. Amen. And they had a praise. Amen. Can you praise God in every situation Amen. that you're in? Oh. If you do, you absolutely are going to conquer Amen. the devil, Amen. the man, and the world with a prayer, a song, Amen. and a praise. Amen. Well, glory. Amen, brother. You should never be defeated. Amen. In 2 Samuel, I'll try to wrap up here in just a minute. 2 Samuel, I just want to show you, before I sit down, it's not only the men, it's the women. Yes, it is, man. Amen. We don't hear, we hear about all the offices of the ministry in the Bible. We don't always often hear this word prophetess. Do you know that office is used in the Bible? Yes, sir. Amen. Look at our anointed too. I don't know how you teach on that. There are women in the Bible yes, called a prophetess. Yeah, we're prophetess. Deborah was one of them. Yeah. I'm not a prophetess. And when God didn't have a man to use, sure. he used Deborah. Amen. And she told, what's his name, Barak? He said, you go down and take this enemy. And what was the man's name? Cicero, something along that line? I don't want to go there to take away too long. But they had 800 chariots of iron. Come on now. And God, and Deborah told Barak, you go down there and take him. Yeah. Barak said, I'm not going if you don't go with me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere if God's not going to go with me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And right then was the, was, was the uh, person of God, the woman of God, that God was using with Deborah. Deborah. Oh, you may just suck it up and take it. It's yeah. it is. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's right. Yeah. You, you yeah. couldn't find a man worth his soul. And Barak, under the anointing of Deborah, uh -huh. yes. who was listening to God, uh -huh. put those 800 chariots of iron to flight. Oh, yeah. He killed every man of them, but one sister got away. Uh -huh. That was the one God wanted. And Deborah looked at Barak and said, Look, you're not going down there for your honor. He said a woman's going to do that. That's it. That's it. Amen. Yeah. Here we are. I'm going to have to suck it up again. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And when sister was going by, uh -huh. what was her name? Taya? Yeah. Came out to meet him. Uh -huh. She said, come on in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't know what he was getting into. He didn't. No, he didn't. She ran in there, he ran in there and laid down. She covered him up, took care of him. He fell off to sleep. She grabbed a big old tent nail. <laughs> and she put a hammer in her hands. Yes. Put her stuck that nail up against his temple. That nailed his head right into the ground. Yes, uh, yeah. Don't get squeamish on me, girls. All right, come on. <laughs> this woman did it. You may have to get down right nasty when you're fighting the devil. That's all right. <laughs> and when uh, Barak came looking, he, she said, come on in here. I've got him. I've got the one you're looking for. Yes. I've got him to the ground in my tent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Sometimes to win the battle on the picture. Yeah. We just may have to listen to a woman. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Sometimes, brother, around here, we may just have to listen to a woman. Uh -huh. Many times I have to listen to my wife. Yes. I just got to suck it up and listen. That's right. Glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 22nd chapter of Samuel. Isn't it here in the fourth verse? 
I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. And when I call on him and I praise him, he's going to deliver me. When the waves of death come past me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid, the sorrows of hell come past me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called on the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of the temple, and my cry did enter into his ears, and the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook, because when a child of God is tormented by the devil, or the flesh, or the world, or circumstances, or affliction, that gets God mad. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. And if we can just get to the place Amen. where we trust in God. All right. Come on, brother. That one time, I believe the second chapter of Judges said they had to learn that the, the generation that knew uh, Joshua was all gone. Uh-huh. And it said they need to learn how to wage war. Uh-huh. And children of God need to learn how to wage war. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Look, don't make fun of us old people. Nope. Amen. But we're here. Yep. Yes, sir. Brother. Amen. The devil may get you before you get our age. Amen. I've been on the road over 60 years. I could have left, but I'm still here. I could have gave up. Still here. Still here. I could have fallen by the wayside, but I'm still here. Hallelujah. Yes, you are, brother. Yes, you are. You're still here. You're still here. That good man would have ground you into powder. They would have taken me to the dirt. <laughs> yes, but we're still here. That's him. Amen. 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 Amen.
the worship is different. It's peculiar to some people in the world. But it's no more peculiar than they that bow to uh, Mecca three times a day like this. That's right. Come on, man. Yes. Come on. Yes. Now, now, this is no more peculiar than that. No more peculiar than the rest of the world that does their thing. But I, this is my thing. I met Jesus. I said I met Jesus 67 years ago as a dead end kid on a dead end street. I met Jesus. He changed my life forever. I have a reason to give him praise. He doesn't live on the outside. He lives on the inside. I said, he doesn't live on the outside. He lives on the inside. Praise the name of the Lord. He feels it on the inside right now. Lift your hands one more time. Give him a glory and give him a praise. sing that song tomorrow is out right now but go ahead to the piano and shoot yeah get with us in a moment there uh, but, uh, but god god uh, put this on my soul let's all sing it together when we all get to heaven yeah. what a day of rejoicing that will be yeah. praise the name of the lord and you sing it from your heart yes because this is a beautiful day yeah if god, god. you don't think it's beautiful you're standing there breathing, aren't you? Oh, yeah. You're standing there with your hands like that, aren't you? You can move your feet, can't you? It's a beautiful day. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When we all get to heaven. Sister Kelly said something last night. Sister Kelly was. She said she was saying to people around her, get up and stop wallowing. Get up and live. Get up and overcome your problem. Praise the name of the Lord. You can live the rest of your life in your problem. Or you can live the rest of your life without your problem. Amen. Did you get hear what I said? Yes. Praise God. I like what Brother Carlton said. Uh, the, the, the people of God doesn't say, how big is that mountain? They say to the mountain, how big is our God? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When we all get to heaven, what a 